this movie we take a look how to build up the script for this random cube example. At the beginning we t uh, take a short look to nodes which are not native. Uh, then we take a look how to simplify a script and at the end we look how simple it is to modify and make variants from the base script. There are a few uh, non-native nodes used in the script. The first one is really simple, a wrapper to divide values by two. Uh, second, I made this clip surface node instead of the native planar boolean because uh, somehow um, the native node returns out 300 objects instead of 24 objects. So it was the quickest way to fix this by writing a known node. Then a custom node to produce several random values. A node to group a list of rectangles uh, to, to pairs. And further the put by ref node for placing the walls in the building. There are several ways to uh, making script handling easier. One of them is to make wrappers. As you can see here, the content of a wrapper. Um, in this wrapper, we use pass nodes, uh, name pass nodes, to make connections to other part of the script. And what we can see here is the final version of the script, which is uh, uh, more or less clear um, how uh, in which parts we can change something. And the script version without any wrappers. Uh, this is uh, very chaotic. Uh, script and as you can imagine it is very hard to change something in this script and it's much easier to handle this script. Um, a further um, way to simplify workflow is to use saved view so you can quickly get inside um, a group, inside a script or wrapper and last but not least we can make um, little thumbnails in the script screenshots to make a better documentation so it is um, it is very worthwhile to have uh, little pictures in the script uh, because it is much simpler to understand the idea to making this example as a marinade script was to have a, a medium or, or a simple uh, grid uh, mathematic uh, which is easy enough for me to uh, to make a, an example out of this um, with a random effect from holes in that grid uh, which uh, makes a, an average um, spectacular example and the third dimension is to have a elevation of this facade elements and the elevation is uh, in relation to the the, the hole the bigger the hole, the bigger the elevation. So it really can't be uh, much more simpler than that. So as next, uh, let's take a look into the milestone steps to build up the script. First, I recommend to note the input values I want to uh, change, uh, at least in my object. So um, the more input values I want to have, want to change, the, um, the more complex my script will be. So it is uh, recommended to make this first. So uh, next, let's come to the milestones by building the scripts. First, I recommend uh, to uh, note which kind of values I want to change, at least uh, from outside the script, and have them in the object info palette. And the most important uh, thing is to solve problems step by step, not all together. So uh, making uh, out of one big problem a hundred little problems. So we can solve uh, just the little problems and we solve the, the big problem. Uh, this means I do not start with an extrude or complex object, move it around. Uh, I just start with uh, rectangles or even better just start with locus points to see if the mathematic uh, of my script is working. First uh, I made um, a grid over my cube and for this grid we can um, take a look at the webinar example. It's pretty the same. Um, the only thing we have to do, we have two um, axes, we have a vertical or horizontal axis and what I do here is just uh, check the 
um, vertical axis by a locus points and let's draw it and as we can see I have a rectangle with the um, whole length and um, height of the cube and these are my axes so I see this is working and the next step is to just wrap this um, in a axis wrapper. This axis wrapper I need uh, two times for the horizontal and the vertical axis. So let's just execute this and as we can see one little problem is solved. We uh, can um, draw a rectangle for the segments and we have the axe middle points. The next um, step will be to use this cross reference node which is a native node to just repeat the position of the axis um, with the cross reference so um, this uh, axe position repeats this axe position and otherwise this axe position repeats this one and so we got the grid completely from the facade and let's go to the next step the next step is to fix the height of the hole by an input value. That's just the breast and the sturz and at the height of the window uh, will be fixed by a value. And after that we um, randomize our uh, window width with this random node. And the next step is to clip the surface. So we just have these rectangles from here. We have the uh, uh, element uh, rectangles and we make a clip surface. And this is the first step to make uh, an extrude out of this. And here I just extrude the clip surface object and I extrude the um, window rectangles which uh, is the glass uh, of the window and this extrude is uh, in relation to the random width of the window by a factor which I have here. This is the offset uh, elevation factor. The next um, we have to duplicate those um, um, facade elements and for that I just made a wrapper out of the whole facade element. So I just wrapped all uh, the script inside this wrapper and this wrapper draws my uh, length facade and the length facade is the same like the back facade so I just uh, duplicate it and for the small um, side facade I make a, a, a second wrapper to duplicate this to the other side and at least uh, I need a roof. Uh, the roof is based on the same um, script but in this script the, um, the holes in the roof are just uh, squares not, not rectangles. And so the next step is to wrapping uh, to make uh, the roof and the object together. Um, and wrapping this to one wrapper and the very last step is to right click and make an object node out of this. And after that we have a, a plugin which changes immediately if we change values into the object info palette. So this is our object. Um, we made a script for and we have all the values here and we can immediately uh, changing values as example uh, the length of the cube, the height of the cube, uh, then we have uh, the, the values from the for the, the breast of the window or the window from top and we've got this factor here and this is the, the elevation factor the the less this factor is the 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 less is the elevation of the facade and if you have a factor from two 
and the, the offset, uh, the elevation from the element is um, double from the width of the hole in the facade. Uh, we've got here uh, some uh, variants of this script. Uh, this here is the, based on the same script. Uh, we have we just enter the script. We have some special some modification here inside uh, the wrapper, and we have here a circle instead of a rectangle. And the result is we got a, a, a circle hole, not a rectangular hole, inside this object. And then I have made a variant with a tapered extrude. This one here, and this is made by a tapered extrude node and here um, this is the point I used my pair node to just group uh, pairs of rectangles together and get this result with the tapered extrude facade. So it is uh, very cool how we can change parts of the script um, and take the, the same script for different uh, examples and um, this is a uh, real fun and I hope you had fun with this movie too. Uh, wish you a good time. Bye bye. Cheers.